you know what? Like sometimes coaches get too much credit um, and they get too much blame, and that's, we sign up for that. But um, today, we uh, I thought we took a, we took a step forward in, in how we're trying to play against Colgate. Um, I thought we were uh, really good, with the exception of we gave them a lot of momentum on on power plays, and uh, not only theirs but on ours. Uh, you know, the best thing about the five minute power play is took five minutes off the clock, but uh, we didn't really show a lot of. Uh, Poise and confidence there, but we really, really battled hard. We, we, we played the way we talked about. We played with desperation, and I think we saw another level. And uh, that was that was a, obviously necessary. Uh, some big saves from Lyndon. He picked up his first collegiate shutout. Uh, obviously, shutouts aren't an individual effort, though. There, he had guys clearing pucks from around the crease when he needed them yep. to, and uh, we thought that was you know big, obviously for him, especially late, making a couple big saves too. Yeah, I mean we uh, we played well, and he was at the top of that. We play as a group, and I mean you can't do it. We, it was our conversation back to back nights. He can't do it by himself, uh, but he was he was really good tonight. Again, even in the shots, even in a lot of things, they had so many power plays um, and it really gave them momentum. Um, it gives us a different feel for the game, which we'll watch on video. But Lyndon stood tall through those. Our guys battled hard. We had guys killing that haven't killed in a long time. Um, just to keep you guys fresh, and, and they battled, I'm proud of their effort. Five on five, it seemed like you guys had some good things going, especially on the rush. You got some chances uh, there, and, and when you were in the offensive zone, even lines one through four were able to cycle the puck. I thought was that important for you guys too? Yeah, really important. I mean, we we possessed it properly coming in over the zone. We didn't just come in and take a shot uh, to, to let him get confidence in his save. We came in, we possessed it, we drove hard, and if we didn't get a shot to the net, we, we retrieved it very hard, and that's something that we want to do, and, and I thought we did it really well today. What's important in, in a game three, obviously, to, to, to keep your calm, but do you, know, you feel like if you keep playing the way you are, you, you can get a win in game three? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we it's going to be the desperation that we showed tonight is going to be on both teams. Game three, game seven, game five, whatever is the, you know, somebody's going home tomorrow. Yeah. And tonight it brought out the best in us. And we're going to expect the best from them. And I know we're going to get our best. So our guys really uh, took a positive step forward and our guys won that game. The coach was uh, talking on the bench the whole first period about how the D need to start getting pucks to the net. And uh, I think I had another shot right before that, early in the shift. And uh, puck came out to Max, got blocked, and then uh, I was just kind of screaming for it. He made a great play and just kind of hammered it on net and went in. Yeah, it looked like you, you obviously looking to get like Jaron and guys in front of the net to yeah. create a screen. I think your first shot might have been uh, yeah, through yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, is, is that something that seemed to be working for you guys defensively to try to screen the uh, point? Oh, big, big goalie. Absolutely. you got to do everything you can to get in front of this guy, take away his eyes. He's a great goalie. And I think we did a pretty good job of that tonight. At the defensive end uh, in front of Linden, uh, what was kind of the key for you guys uh, in, in picking up this, this shutout here tonight? I think we were just kind of keeping him to the outside. Um, they didn't get a ton of great looks at him, and everything they got, he was huge and made a bunch of big saves. So just a great all-around team, all team win. You ever played in a in a game three, a game five, whatever? You played in a, a game yeah. like that before? Yeah, I have. I, we had a couple three-game series last year in the USPHL, so I'm excited. It should be fun. Uh, it feels feels really good just to know, uh, you know, this is a team that I think we could beat any night. So. To be able to get a shutout and have it be such a close game, it's a good feeling. Uh, what were you seeing? A uh, couple of chances they had there. Uh, they, what are they trying to do against you to, to kind of maybe get, see, get rid of your eyes there? Uh, I think, yeah, they, they, they're big guys and they, they do a good job going to the net. So I think that's their big play is just getting guys in front and getting pucks just on the net and looking for second chance opportunities. Were you able to see the puck pretty well though tonight? Yeah, the D did a really good job keeping guys wide and to the outside. So, so it was good. Uh, you know, for you guys uh, going into a game three, what's going to be the most important you think? Uh, I think just preparing the same way we prepared for tonight. Like, we, we know what they're going to do, we know what they're capable of, we know what we're capable of. It's just a matter of going out and putting the effort out. Does it change your mentality up by a goal or, or up by multiple goals, or are you still in the same kind of state when you're in between the pipes? Uh, I think, you know, up you one or two goals, you. Maybe not change the mentality, but definitely you have a little bit of confidence to know. But I think no matter what, you're you're kind of always thinking about just stopping the puck no matter what, not, not getting ahead of yourself.